gorgeous, by the way. Thank you, Jay. What is wrong with you? You can't be looking with you. It's for you, boo. No, it's not only for me. I, I hear they're contenders, but it's okay. We'll talk about that when we leave here. Yeah. But quickly, yeah. you just attended what is easily the most successful premiers of all times. Yes. What was the highlight for you? Of the premiere? Mm. Everything. The fact that the cinema first of all was full, mm -hmm. extremely full, like mm -hmm. to the brim, mm -hmm. and then I feel like they enjoyed. For me, a premiere is not a premiere if there are no reactions. Absolutely. So the amount of reactions, and I think the best part of a premiere for example, when you're sitting down, they don't know you're one of the cast members, yes, and yeah. they are talking. Oh, yes, yes. So I got so many reactions. I heard so much, wow, wow. and I was laughing because <laughs> they didn't realize I was yeah. sitting there. It's dark. So it's dark. It's so that was it for me, and mm. they totally enjoyed it. So I think that was it for me. Was it, it was a big premiere. There was glitz, there was glam, and mm. then there was content, which was the movie. Because mm. I feel like the worst thing that can happen is to go for a premiere, and mm. then you don't enjoy the film. Oh, yeah. We I realized know. nobody walks out of that cinema. Do you know that? Did yeah. you see that? <laughs> nobody until nobody the end. Nobody until the end. Yeah. Yeah, and amazing. even at the end, they stayed for our end credits. Yes, 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 yes. So yeah, yes, I'm that, happy. That is incredible. That is incredible. Shoot. So what was your own highlight of this of their premiere? Well, um, the thing was that um, I think you've said it all. You know, you're very eloquent. The the part, the interactive sessions. Um, nobody knows who's sitting next to them. Yes. Yeah. But, no, consequently, nobody knows. Yeah. But I you know I listen very keenly to the. To the comments yeah. you know what i said about um alfred hitchcock i mean easily one of the most influential movie yeah. makers of our time that was what imbued him with his creative energy he would yeah. sit in the crowd somewhere obscure yeah. and then listen to people's comments and, and then you know that is what prepared him you know psychologically for yeah. his next project i got the inspiration for my next project just sitting down there and listening yeah. So very engaging. I think that was a highlight. You can't beat the interactive. You know, you know what people are very Yes. Hey, if you try Nigerians with the wrong movies. You get it. Wait till I pay my money for videos. But you know, just cool. Super, yeah. Super. That was the Yeah, and uh, something else that got, got to me really mm, at the mm. premiere was the fact that they were just not clapping for just acting. Mm. They were clapping for cinematography. Oh, yeah, there was one. No, there you, was one. You, ah! See, that, that, that's Please. no more with the leaves. With the leaves. You, know, you, you guys don't remember because everybody was so fixated. Yeah. Did they sneeze learning to take that shot? We had an argument. Oh, because Lord. I mean, time was wasting so much time positioning camera doing that. I'm like, dude, dude, dude. The director will get what he wants. Mm. Moses, he, uh, wants. Nah, he, he will get what he wants. He, to he get. said to a heck with everybody, <laughs> this shot took half a day and yeah. we launched it. And to think a shot for the first time, you know how many premieres you and I have attended? Yes. For the first time, a shot got a clapping yes like got an ovation i think it's a first yes yeah, the first here. time a shot got um, you know a proper proper clapping appreciation yeah it's amazing yeah. it's applaud uh, and applaudable actually so um next question yeah um on set yeah there was a day you know that um, you know everybody was tired we we're shooting night did you think the end product would come out this well given the pressure the the tired some um, um exercises went through yeah. the creative processes to make this did you think did you envisage this absolutely incredible final picture so to be very honest 100 mm. percent yes wow. and why i say yes is because of the people in question okay. to start with you you have been in industry i watched i grew up watching you so i know that you can't take away the years of experience you can't take away the years of learning so you obviously brought your experience to your production. Our director, he was extremely, he's anal, he's mm. extremely mm. precise. Mm. And then the actors as well. So, and we're like family on set, oh, yeah, to be honest. We're, we're, we're like family, we had a laugh. We had a laugh. So I knew yeah. that, and maybe because I've, I'm an actor and I've been in the industry mm. for a while, I realized mm. that you can never judge a film mm. from your time on set. Yes, yes, yes. yes because yes. it's the films that take so much from you, mm. the results mm. is usually amazing. Yeah, so I knew that, and then the time you took to edit, yes, yes. I saw um, um, advertisements on Times Square. Yeah. I was like, this, for you to be going all loud, <laughs> like this, I, <laughs> I knew that something, yeah. you had watched something and yeah. it was sitting right with your soul. Yes, yes, so I knew so. for you to be doing that, yeah. I was calm. So yeah. I knew that it was going to be good. And I had a conversation with director yeah. prior to the premiere and mm. he said Sharon what I watched mm. made me very happy and mm. I trust mm. I trust in his yeah, mankind yes, yeah, yeah, I trust yeah, yeah, so when he said yeah, it yeah, yeah. when I watched it yeah. at the cinema mm. I was actually in shock yeah. when you called me down at the premiere <laughs> I was still like hey? <laughs> so this is our movie yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's um, hey man that's amazing that's yes. amazing
So let's go. created the scripts mm. and you, you came on set you casted mm. everybody do you mm. think what, what you've watched now is this what you wanted or Abs exceeded absolutely. Your, your expectations absolutely um, um i always project myself um, um psychologically spiritually mentally sometimes yeah. even physically to sit ahead of my vision yeah. so when we sat down the first time and he said bro this is a massive one Hmm. Are you prepared? Because I see you in about five different qualities. I mean, um, no, five yes. different realms here. Um, I was going to style myself in this film. I was yeah. playing lead. I'm the financier. I was also going to do the car props and all that and the property. Yeah. So he said, listen, are you prepared to do this? Because we are not compromising anything. We are not wanting anything down. If anything, we're going to amplify even places that I think um, yeah. has been watered down. Yeah. And I told him, resources wise, I'm 200% ready. Mm. You know, we crossed our budget five One, times. I know that 100%. Okay. I was aware on set. Absolutely. So, but <laughs> the thing wasn't about money, it wasn't about financial resources. It was about how prepared I was to take it to the next level. You know, it took us two months to make this. 100%. Yeah. So, you couldn't have gone through that audaciously without expecting a certain result at the end. And when, when we're in the U.S. and um, the Times Square opportunity came out, that was probably one check that I wrote to my hands shaking. Because I'm like, <laughs> I know it's expensive, oh boy, I if said. I put it up here. Because, because I wanted first time, at first African film to be on Times Square. We yeah. did that. We're going to break records in the cinemas. It's a given. I've spoken into amen, existence. Amen. Everybody's is in on that. And we also created a content that transcends time. Yeah. So yes, I was prepared mentally, spiritually, physically, psychologically for this. I have a question for you. So why this? Do you, you realize? Do you realize how timely this story is? Perfect. It was also deliberate. No, if this might even come out last year, it, it cannot. It won't have mm -hmm. the effect it's having now. I totally agree with you because th this is the time. This is the time. This is the time. Do you time. realize how timely? Because guess what? You literally are speaking every. Every celebrity's mind Into in that existence. movie. Yeah, if I'm not even celebrity, even normal people Everybody. who have social media. Absolutely. This film, like even when I read the script, I was like, wow. Mm. Somebody, you just realize mm. you're not mad. Yes. Somebody's feeling what I'm feeling. Absolutely. I'm a human being. Yeah, right? absolutely. And you just, this film made me realize that majority of the time when people are dropping bad comments on your pictures, they're projecting. Mm. Because look at all the people who drop bad comments mm. in the movie. Mm. They were all in bad places. Mm -hmm. They were all not doing well. Mm -hmm. So it's as if they're projecting how they feel mm -hmm. on you. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. a comment you made in the film where you said people are angry because yes. of the lifestyle. Yeah. But you know, this is also a conversation. There's an advocacy behind us. Yeah. We thought, yes, it could be termed as tongue-in-cheek portrayal of what happens in that space. Mm -hmm. Anybody could also say that um, it's, um, it's a satire of sorts. Yeah. But our projection was also about the advocacy. Yeah. Um, the social media space, which we all term a common denominator for anybody that exists in this world, in there also rests a certain problem. It's become a tragic entity for a lot of people. Yes. People are losing their lives. People between the persons between the ages of 15 and 19 are the most affected. Depressed. Depressed. So there's a mental health issue here. One word can break, one word can make. That is what we're about. That conversations must be had at the highest realm and people that actually pivot conversations has to be forced to sit on the table when they sit back comment and begin to have those relevant conversations. I agree. Yeah, it's so, so it's, it's, we're, we're all the we're, we're pushing it. Yeah. Watching you in bad comments, mm. I saw an emotional side of you. And I love that. We're used to seeing you as the bad boy, mm. the playboy who walks in, steals the show. You were the bad boy here, <laughs> yeah. but a bad boy that had feelings. A conscience, yes. <laughs> I and I like that. I love the scene where you were crying. Yes. I love the scene where you were talking about how you felt. Because yes. guess what? Mm. You're a human being. I am a human and being. And you were literally saying to them, like, look, are you not seeing? Like, yeah. I'm burying it yeah. all. Nobody sees you. Nobody, basically. exactly. They just see what the, the, the whole makeup of who you are, yes. the last matter. But nobody sees you. And that's why you are far more endeared with people that see you. Yes. Okay? 100. I get 100%. that. Now, I also wanted to say something on a final note. Bollywood, Nollywood, um, Hollywood. What has made all these entities, these establishments, as successful as they are, far beyond ours? Yeah. It's one thing, the game of numbers, 
the massive support they get from their people. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing, babes. Um, some 12 years ago, 13 years ago, thereabout, I was in New York. I was coming in. Um, a friend of mine, um, I wanted to do a helicopter ride. There's this helicopter ride you take from Madison Square and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So I took it and we were going over Madison Square. That's again why you speak things into existence. Mm. Up there, I told myself one day, my project is going to be on that billboard. Bless. Yeah, that's what I said. But you know that day was Shara Khan. Hmm. He had a concert in Madison Square Bay. The Indian community in the East Coast shut that place down. There was traffic for half a day because wow. one man was coming. I can promise you there was nobody outside the Asian community that came there. Just hmm. Indians. It was star power like I've never seen before. Community, you know, support like I've never seen before. That thing, I'm telling you, inspired me to no end. That one people, one community, one race can mm. decide that if they will make you a god, they will. They will. If they can transcend an industry into a force to be reckoned with worldwide, they will. Yeah. Why is it not happening here is the reason because our people are Hollywood, make better film, um, Bollywood. Do you know the time they invest in Z-World? 100%. My dear, when I come back from the office and Z-World is on, nobody notices I'm there. Even my cook booms me. Yeah. The only time I'm, I'm not going to eat good food is the day <laughs> Z-World is on. You know? Yeah. So what my, mine is that our people, they keep talking about content is now up to par, you know, all the hypocrisy, yeah. all the siphoning, there's the sacrifice. Now, we're at that level, that par, 100%. and we're creating content that's viable universally. Yeah. Is it time for our people to recognize their own, yes. support their own, yeah. and give us the voice that we need on the international stage? 100%. And I would think that this is the time for government to use entertainment, the fastest way to in, like put anything in anybody's head is true mm. entertainment. Growing up, mm. majority of the ideals I know as a woman today mm. are from the things I watched growing up. So what is the best way to sensitize a generation? Mm. Is you should, they should use entertainment as a sensitization tool yes. to inform the public. Absolutely. Because well, where are we? We're in the digital age. Yes. Everything happens either on social media. Mm. But guess what? The, the same movies you watch in the cinema, they come back to the social media Absolutely. to talk about it. They so the government has to understand that this is the best time to um, invest the most, the most yes. I mean, in entertainment. Any, any, anything you want to pass across to the youth, start with TV. TV, social media, and they go hand in hand. Absolutely. So Absolutely. I just hope that Nigerians will come out for our sake, mm. support your own, support, support us. Take it to that level. This is not even about a money-making venture. Nah, this nah. film it's is about for power. you. Taking control of your 100%. own. One hundred percent. You would mm. want everybody would learn more than two things from this film. And I'm not saying it because I'm in it. Mm. Personally, obviously, I'm out there. I'm in the limelight. Mm. But as a person, you will see what how negative words mm. can bring you down. I so know. I hope when you go out, you take your family, your friends, your best friend, your haters. They will learn a thing or two. And just to buttress what she said, yeah. trust me, the more successful the industry is, the more jobs will create, the yes. more people take off the street. Do you know? I mean, the very least of of opportunities that come from this. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. This is what has you no know, one word or the other informed our gdp yeah it's no small measure what's going on the bigger the industry is obviously the, the more opportunities that people get all right yeah. listen babe you are singular yeah. okay Aww. take it from me you're Thank singular you. you're an amazing human being Aww. you are an amazing theater you're a very intelligent person Thank you. you are beautiful thank you thank for, you james thank you for honoring and you are a myself. bottle of talent thank you babe. i absolutely love you, thank you. love working with thank you, you. Keep, keep it coming keep it coming <laughs> you handsome thank you babe. you fly thank you babe. and thank you thank for you, making babe. me work You're with your there, bad babe. comments You're almost there. You're almost there. thank you, <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm.